The following question is about moles and ratios and uh, what the question states is that a sample of a hydrocarbon C6H12 is completely burned in dry oxygen and the product of gases are collected as shown. So there's a diagram which is collecting all the products. Uh, so we need to first construct what happens when C6H12 is completely burned. So I'm going to construct a balanced equation. So C6H12 is going to burn in oxygen and it will produce uh, carbon dioxide whenever hydrocarbon burns it produces carbon dioxide and H2O and we need to balance this equation so there would be six carbons on the left hand side so six carbon dioxide molecules and uh, there are 12 hydrogens so that would be six water molecules and we can count the oxygens on the right hand side so there are 12 plus six that's 18 so there would be nine O2 molecules so now this is a balanced uh, equation so what the question now states is that the water and carbon dioxide that are produced are passed through two tubes uh, one containing calcium uh, chloride and that's absorbing H2O so the water molecule that is produced is absorbed during the combustion is, absor is absorbed by uh, this uh, container P and the container Q is used for absorption of carbon dioxide it has soda lime in it it's absorbing carbon dioxide so so the two products are absorbed by each of the two tubes P and Q. Now the question reads that the increase in mass of the collecting vessels P and Q of the apparatus are MP and MQ respectively. So what is the ratio of the MP and divided by MQ which is the increase in mass. Now if you look carefully this is absorbing H2O and this is absorbing CO2. So the increase in mass of P is because of the absorption of H2O and the increase in mass of Q is because of the absorption of CO2. Now going back to the reaction, as you can see the reaction, this is a balanced equation, the amount of carbon dioxide and the amount of water that's being produced are, is exactly the same, which means if six CO2 molecules are produced, then six water molecules are produced. Now coming back to the containers, what that basically means is that if one water molecule is being absorbed, then exactly the same amount of carbon dioxide would also be absorbed by Q. So if one water molecule is absorbed, the mass of P should increase by, let's say if one mole of water molecule is absorbed, it should increase by 18 grams. Vice versa, if one molecule of CO2 is absorbed, uh, then the MR of CO2 is 12 plus 16 plus 16, that's, eight, uh, that's 44 grams. So that basically means that the amount of water and the amount of CO2 that's being absorbed, the number of moles are going to be exactly the same. So if one mole of water is absorbed, one mole of CO2 is absorbed. If 18 grams of water is absorbed, that means that 44 grams of CO2 is absorbed. So we've figured out MP. This is going to be the increase in mass of uh, P. And we've figured out MQ. This would be the increase in mass of this container Q and we need to find the ratio MP divided by MQ which is going to be MP is 18 and we're going to divide that by 44. So 18 divided by 44, I'm going to use my calculator now. So 18 divided by 44 equals 0.41 moles approximately. So option A is going to be the correct, correct option.